So we could be painting a flush door. Now the way I paint a flush door is I break that door up into sections and I'm going to paint one section at a time. And what I do is I paint across the door and then down, across and then down. And that's the way to paint a flush door. Now then, let's get some paint on the door. What we do, well what most people do, is they load the brush into the paint, they take it out and it's dripping. So the first thing they do is they wipe it on the top of the can. Now I've just taken all the paint off of that brush. The idea is to get the paint on the door, not back into the can. So what we do, we load the brush, tap it on each side of the paint kettle, and when we take it out, as you can see, it's not dripping, so it's long enough to get to the door before it does. Then what we do, we start in the centre of the first section, we spread it over there. Now at this point, don't worry about finish, okay? Just making sure you've covered it. Don't worry about finish, make sure you've covered it. And then across the side to make sure it's even, and finally, it's what we call laying off, and that's what gets us to finish. Very gently, with hardly deflecting the brush, we start low and finish high. Start low and finish high. Start low and finish high. And that will ensure we get the perfect finish. There is another way to paint a flush door, and a quicker way, and that's by using a small roller. Now, we do exactly the same as a brush. We break that door up into sections, and we can paint one section at a time. Okay, so we load the roller, and we paint a V in the center of that section, and then go back and finish that area. Now, by doing this, we're just reducing the paint evenly over that area. We load the roller again, paint a V in the centre of this section, and there you go, covered. Now, for some people, a roller finish may not be acceptable, so we can get the finish of a brush. And for this, we use a finishing brush. Now, a finishing brush is designed to take paint off, not put paint on. It's just for the finish. And we use this in a laying off motion. So, we start low, and we finish high. Start low, finish high. Start low, finish high. Start low, finish high. There you go. Speed of a roller, but the finish of a brush.